the previous video, our vampire Jonathan defeats Doris Fletcher and then he tries to escape from McCollum and his war dogs. This is where Jonathan night begins. Straight from the theater escaping from those war dogs of McMullen. I hate this place. I don't want to stay here no more. Got my butt kicked so many times. Those are those of you guys that are wondering how many times it took me to beat Doris. It took me about 20, 30 tries. So Doris. Just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. Very indeed. Chapter 5. Report to Lord Wrecker. Hi, sir. How you doing? Shoot. Are you 28? <laughs> Give me some <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to mess with you guys. <laughs> Just when you guys thought you guys could take me. If I get sworn, I get my butt kicked. Hey, easy there, fellas. Hey, we don't have to fight, man. Oh. Sorry, man. Okay, what you got? Oh. Hey, he wanted to fight. I didn't want to fight. I came in peace. All right. So if I take that way there, it should lead me there. Yes, it should. It's easy. I like just doing the easy parts, you know. Enjoy the story. You not too much. Even someone you're close to. I would talk to him, but... Right to vote is only the first step. Oh, Where I'm needed to be. Women of all countries... I think there's only like six chapters in this game. I'm not sure. I was looking it up like early. Hey man, how you doing, player? We put the lower record, but uh... Hey, you're in here too? Hmm. Something doesn't feel right, guys. So I passed my first test. All right, Redgrave ain't in here. Lord Redgrave. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ he deserves to be. I don't even know who is that. I'm not sure. I can't. As you wish, my lord. As you wish, my lord. Good. Now go. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Your word is my command. I guess I'm recruiting. <laughs> I wish I could like infect people and make them my own minions. That'd be awesome. But 
Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Thank you, Elizabeth. I am missing a clue here. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. I think it's set up. I don't like it one bit. I wonder where this guy lives. Watch yourself! There's one of them! It's locked. I should find... And my health a little bit longer. Shadow Econ. You Londoners are no match for me! Ooh, that's a new one. I think this passage could lead me close to Lucy's Dawson's body. You're bleeding! in the sewers. The tenth of sewers. I hate sewers as many times as I tell you guys. I just want something easy, you know? Hello? Scary, scary, scary. I cannot enter. Fine. Deal, 
Traitor. Traitor. Oh, snap. Come on, come on, come on. Leon August. Dude, you need to calm down. No one. Is that all you got? Easy to beat, man. Kneel. Ooh. I don't like it when you do that, though, man. That's it, man. Want to come grab it? Fight you, man. So this way. I think I'm going the right way. These sewers, man. I think I could get lost. What? Wrong way. Let's try this way. It's locked, all right. Seems like something. I'm going to do a little stop in the valve, maybe. It's locked.
snap. Good hit. <sighs> How we do it? Come in, whoever you are, ma'am. Dan Sayuk is on the way with his trusty vampire friend. Got entered up. Uh, the was not the only hidden killer around here. Where's his mansion at? Is this it? Guys, do we really have to fight? Stay back, beast! I will. Over there! That's one of them vermin! Ain't no way, man. I said, I 
I don't want to fight, man. This must be it, guys. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? We will never know, eh? Jonathan, but we actually do. The only people that would know are the ones who beat this game with you. Finally, you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Sir, so I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold. So cold. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Turn. You'll sacrifice to those. Get your fear of dying, charm. Embrace, I will kill you. Turn, you sacrifice. Oh man, sacrifice 2k XP. Forget your fear of dying. I will kill you. Fine. Are you ready for immortality, Mr. Dawson? My eyes are black as ever. Drink. Now, and say farewell to life as you prepare to be reborn. What do you mean, drink? What about the blood transfusion? I'm the doctor and the vampire here, so I'll give the orders. Drink, sir. Now. All right. Good. That's enough. That's enough, I said. I will not die. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, no. You will die, sir. Steal yourself. You're already in death's grip.
right, guys. We're going to stop there. I just turned him to vampire, I think. He looks like he's really intoxicated, but... Next time we come back, we're going to report to Lord Redgrave and find out what's the next part, what we're going to do. So, stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. So, Jonathan turns Aloysius Dawson into a vampire and heads back to report to Lord Redgrave. What will Jonathan Connor next? Who will he meet? To be continued.